Hello everyone! In the next three minutes, I'm going to tell you how the jets are born and how they die when they slam into things. I'm going to try and understand what is the optimal jet diet, what sets their power, collimation, acceleration, mass loading, and emission. I will be classifying the jets on this two-dimensional playground. The vertical axis is uh, the thickness of the cushion disk and the horizontal axis is the strength of the vertical magnetic field. Let's focus on the easiest case. The jets form just fine, but what's really challenging is to resolve the scale separation between the tiny little black hole and the large galaxy. We've learned that if we give black hole large-scale vertical magnetic flux, it will happily produce the jets. Consider a thick disk, but we will not give it any vertical magnetic field. It's spectacular that jets are so resilient. Even in this case, the jets manage to save themselves. What if we tilt this whole system? The jets are happily produced. That means that tilted disks with vertical magnetic fields produce powerful jets. What is left for us to explore? Perhaps we could take a look at a thin disk with a lot of vertical magnetic flux. Wait, the cushion disk has just aligned. This is the first demonstration of barton peterson alignment in the presence of general relativity and turbulent magnetic fields. Jets are still there. What if we tilt the disk even more? The inner disk tears off of the outer disk and takes the jets with it. Then these jets slam into the outer disk and completely destroy it. Which is spectacular. Not only do we get jets, we also get a plethora of really exciting phenomena such as disk alignment and disk tearing. So what happens if we consider um, the only remaining option here for suppressing the jets? Here there is no large-scale poloidal magnetic field. There is no jet for the first time. What causes the jets to fall apart? Uh, what is the physics that is underlying this puzzle of funner Fili dichotomy? So what's happening here, we think, is the activation of the magnetic kink instability. Cushion disk forms these two beautiful jets that kink and fall apart and uh, inflate these beautiful bubbles. Jets are really resilient. We are beginning to understand uh, through the simulations uh, the acceleration, dissipation, mass loading and the physics of disruption of the jets. A plethora of really exciting new physical effects uh, such as uh, disk tearing, uh, barton peterson alignment uh, and uh, uh, jets that are destroying uh, accretion disks. Thank you so much for your attention. I'm looking forward to your questions.